Today, I'm gonna to show you how I automated with Veo3 this video using an NA10 workflow. I'll show you exactly how to get the template today as well. Let's play back this video. I'll show you exactly what we've got here. Folks, totally organic, wild squirrel smoothie, straight from my backyard. <laughs> So that is Bigfoot vlogging. And this was actually inspired by a TikTok account that's absolutely blowing up. You can see using a similar sort of process, they're creating videos with Bigfoot vlogging, but I actually turned it into an automated workflow like you can see right here, where you can just click a button and generate these sort of videos as you want. Now, step by step, let me run you through exactly how it works and how to use this automation. By the way, if you wanna steal this from me, you can get it inside the AR Profit Boardroom, link in the comments description, Veo3 automation, you can see all the templates right here, plus the importable JSON file, so that you can just steal this stuff from me, all right? You don't have to even set it up yourself. So, as we can see right here, we have the trigger for the automation. And so basically you can just schedule this to run like every 24 hours or if you automated this to a TikTok account or Instagram account, which I'll show you how to do later, then you can use this process to just automatically schedule the content that you create directly to TikTok or wherever, right? As an example of that, here is a video I actually automatically posted using AI to my TikTok account. It was pretty easy and simple to do using the processes that I'll show you today. So as we get into this, we've got the schedule trigger. This is gonna run every 24 hours. Then we have the ideas generator, right? And basically what we're doing here is we're saying like, give me a funny idea related to Bigfoot vlogging in the jungle. Here, you can just customize this to whatever you want. For example, let's say you wanted to have I don't know, aliens doing like an MTV crib style video. You could just change the prompts right here step by step, pretty easy and simple. And then we also have a system message down below, which shows exactly how to create the caption, how to generate the idea, how to set up the environment so that we create really nice outputs from the videos that we generate, okay? So we've got ChatGPT generating the prompt, based on our niche, you can change the niche to whatever you want. This could actually be really good for ads as well. I was thinking, for, for example, for generating like UGC, I don't know, for our SEO agency, maybe Bigfoot promoting SEO backlinks using this process, we could easily generate that like this. Not even difficult at this point. So it's absolutely mind blowing. You can see the outputs right here. So it's generated the caption, Bigfoot vlogs, the idea, Bigfoot shares his breakfast, totally organic, a squirrel smoothie, environment in a vibrant jungle, Bigfoot holds his camera with fairy hands, right? Now, you can actually check this step by step. So if you're like, oh, I don't really like this, right? I, don't, I want something new. So if you click test step again, what they'll actually do is redo the automation and then you can generate another idea, another idea, right? And just generate whatever you want. So for example, here's another one. It said Bigfoot's wild adventures, Bigfoot shows off his breakfast, tree bark and mushroom smoothies. In a vibrant jungle, Bigfoot spins around with a selfie stick, chaos and use, right? And it's got all the captions, the ideas, etc. So that is stage number one of the process. What I've actually done is broken it down into four stages, just so it's easy to understand. So you can see this is the idea generation section. And you also wanna add a structured output parser so that you can generate the JSON from the text that you generate, right? So the AI agent creates this text and then the output parser from JSON actually separates that into caption, idea, environment, everything else. Pretty simple and easy. Now, what that's gonna do from here, once you've generated the ideas is it's going to move on to the video prompts. For example, if we check this out, this is our ideas. This is generated via a Google Sheet. So we're logging all the ideas that we generate and everything else into a nice little spreadsheet with the idea, the caption, the production, the environment, the final output, and also the ID of the video. And then the good thing about this is, for example, these long URLs, which you, know, you might want to chop up or edit before you post, those long URLs, they're captured inside a spreadsheet, which is great because then when you need to come back to this, or if you need to share this with your team, et cetera, you can just use this nice little spreadsheet. And also it just counts up how many automations you've run, as you can see, okay? So what you can see, for example, here is that it maps out in the settings, the caption, the idea, the environment, etc., And it maps that to a Google Sheet. So if we check this out, we've set up an idea to sheet, Google Sheet within a document, I've actually created this template that you can steal from me. It's inside the AI Profit Boardroom, so you can just grab that Google Sheet template if you want. And inside here, we've got the ID, and usually I just set that as like equals row brackets minus one, so that it captures and counts each row. 
We've got the caption, which is pretty easy to generate with Bigfoot's Wild Adventures. The production, so like that's the actual status, is it ready to be produced or not? And then the environment. The production bit here is quite interesting because actually when it comes to auto posting to any sort of social media platform, that production section right there allows you to say this is ready to publish and then your automation later can pick it up and filter those out, right? We have now generated the idea, plug that into a spreadsheet. Next up, what we need to do is start generating the video prompts based on the ideas, right? So you can see here, we've got an AI agent that takes the caption, the idea and the environment, and then plugs it into a prompt. So we've said, create a VO3 prompt based on this, and it's taken the dynamic JSON idea. And then we've said, this is the environment, and basically it's taking the environment, right? So when you're generating a video, this is really good because you're taking not just the idea of the video, but you're also painting the scene in the background in terms of how it could be, right? So for example, it could be Bigfoot on a mountain in the middle of the Ice Age, vlogging about drinking a cup of tea and how good that is, right? Whatever. And then inside here, we've said in the prompt, explain the situation and who's vlogging. The main reason for that is because VO3 needs context over what it is, etc. And if you don't have context or enough context, your outputs won't be that great. So you can see, for example, here, it's created the output based on the idea. So it said in the heart of a vibrant jungle, thick greenery surrounds an ex unexpected creature, a friendly Bigfoot, his furry hands gripping the camera as he captures a moment like no other, blah, blah, blah. Right? And then also in this section, we have the system prompt. So let me pull this up. Inside the system prompt, we said, right, here's, you're an AI agent, but use this format. We've got these details, prompt rules, etc. Here's what to do, blah, blah, blah. Nice and easy. So what that's going to do is it's going to take the ideas, plug it into Google Sheets, create a prompt out of that, and then we're going to send this over to VO3 using a powerful API, which I'll show you in a second. Right? Now, inside the AI agent as well, what I would recommend is as you're going through each section, test it out. Test it out step by step so you can test each section. And also, like it can be expensive to generate the outputs. So for example, with the API on VO3, it can be quite expensive because it's brand new. And so you just want to make sure that each time you generate an output, you pin it, right? So for example, you can pin it like this, right click the module, pin that, and that will just allow you to keep the output so you can test the next stage and the next stage, right? And you're relaying the information between each module. So let's move on to actually generating the videos now. You're 75% of the way in. And this is the HTTP request, right? And so using this, what you can actually do is generate outputs from foul.ai, right? There's actually quite a few different APIs that run with VO3, but foul I think is the easiest and also uses a bunch of other tools as well. What you want to do first is make sure that you top up your balance inside foul. And then inside here, if we have a look, you've got the VO3 API. Now this actually just came out a few hours ago. And the cool thing about this is it's unlike any other AI video generation because it generates audio and it's super re like realistic. It's crazy realistic, right? And so you can grab the API from here. I've actually just pre-programmed this with our VO3 URL. And then for the authentication, we've selected generic credential type, header off, and then you just want to set up your credentials, right? So if we go on here, and we edit these, you can see basically what we've done is we put authorization as the name. So use authorization as the name. And then for the value, what I've actually done is type in key space, the API key of foul. Now, if you want to get your API key from foul, you just go to your account over here. Then you're going to go to API keys, add a key, make sure that you save that and copy it because otherwise you'll lose it. And from here, you can grab this API key. You would again type in key space, and then copy and paste your API key into NA10 inside the value section, all right? That took me a little while to figure out. If you have any questions, just ask me inside the AI Profit Board and I can help you out. And then inside here as well, we've selected SendBody, JSON, using fields below, and then I've mapped this out, right? If you don't get this right, this can mess up as well. So you want to select JSON using fields below, prompt, and then you're grabbing the JSON output, which is the prompt from the AI agent. Right? And the reason that you're selecting name is so that Fowl understands, okay, this is a prompt to generate the content with. Now, for example, if we go back to VO3 over here, we can actually look at our previous requests. And if you don't get this right, like I didn't get it right the first couple of times, as you can see, it totally messed up. 
and we got these 422 errors, right? And the reason is because this wasn't set up with the JSON. So make sure that you set up this properly. If you just want the template, you can steal it from me. And also, you want to be careful with batching, right? So this is expensive to generate outputs with. So I just go with one item per batch and then batch interval 2000. And that keeps things running nicely in the background, okay? With that process, you can easily connect foul to VA3. I think it costs us about $3 to $4 to generate each output. Now, what I want to say here is if you want a cheaper way to do it, a cheaper way to generate videos like this, you can actually do that with another automation inside the AI Profit Boardroom, which is this one inside the classroom, the NA10 Viral Reels workflow, right? This is a lot cheaper. It's actually using something called Flux and Kling, which are way cheaper. Before you start commenting in the video, like it's too expensive to generate, etc., you can just grab the resources in the blueprint. I know not everyone's gonna comment like that, but I know some people will. So if you want to use VR3, you can, it's more expensive. If you wanna use Kling, it's cheaper, and I've shown you exactly how to do it. Plus, I've given you the template inside the AI Profit Boardroom where you can just grab this stuff from me. So once we've done that, then we're gonna to go to here, and we're good to go. Again, test each step. You can see the output, so this is the response URL with all the details right here. And if we X off that, we've now scheduled, got the idea, sent it to Google Sheets, created the prompt, posted it to foul.ai to generate the video. And then the next module here is a wait module. Now, it typically takes about, I would say, three to four minutes to generate outputs from VO3. So I've selected the wait amount as 250 seconds. And then what that's going to do is wait before it tries to get the HTTP request directly from foul over here. So for example, what this is doing with a get method for a HTTP request is it's grabbing the URL plus the JSON request from the output, right? So basically it's just taking this unique ID number from foul when we generated the video inside VR3, plugging it onto the end of the foul URL, and then again, we've used the same credentials inside here, and that's pretty much it. And it's as simple as that when it comes to getting the output. So you can see, for example, we've got the video URL on the right-hand side. If we open this up on a new tab, let's check this out. So this is the video that we've generated, and that is good to go, my friends. All right. Then you've got the content type, file name, blah, blah, blah. So that's pretty cool. It's a really easy workflow, really easy automation. You can see how it works step by step. And then the final stage is we want to capture that information as well. So for example, we've got stage four, video to sheets here, URL to sheets. And then inside here, we've just plugged that back into our Google Sheet. Now, the way that we've set up this module is we've set this up so that it's got the credentials, sheets within document, and the operation here is update row. So it goes into that NA10 video sheet template that we've talked about, looks at the first tab, and then we mapped it manually, right? So we said, take the idea, match the idea from previous, which you can see right here. And then once you've done that and mapped it out, inside the final output over here, plug in the video URL, which you can see on the right-hand side over here. So we've generated three different videos using this process. This is actually an old one with Kling. If you have a look at Kling, Let's pull this up. So Kling's output is okay, but it's only gonna give you like music in the background. It's not gonna give you dialogue, right? Whereas for example, if we have a look at these two outputs from the NA10 VO3 automation. Check it out, folks. Totally organic wild squirrel this? smoothie They're straight from my backyard. Dancing. Right, so let's have a look at this one. Let's go full screen on this bad boy. Can you believe this? They're actually dancing. All right, so that was Bigfoot dancing with monkey. And that idea was Bigfoot accidentally streams his dance off with monkeys. Here's the caption, his environment, and then we're good to go. And then this one is the squirrel smoothie example. That's a video of URL. And then I've already shown you that, so I'm not gonna play it again. But you get the point. Really easy to generate these videos. Really didn't take a long time to, to set up, to be honest with you. And then also, you can just import the workflow from me. So if you go into the AR Profit Boardroom, it's quite easy to set this up. For example, if we go inside here, we'll download the VR3 automation, 
then you can just go to plus workflow personal then from here you're going to go to import from file downloads download that boom shakalaka you've got that imported right beautiful and then you can just plug in the details as i've shown you today right really simple and easy to do and you can also steal the spreadsheet from me that's inside the ar profit boardroom just go to the vl3 automation section it's got the google sheet the api details the example tiktok account and also if you want to learn how to post this stuff directly to social media as well what we've actually got here is an auto post at na10 workflow which takes the urls from the spreadsheet plugs it through blowtato blowtato can plug that into tiktok automatically or any sort of other platform as you can see right here so instagram youtube tiktok facebook twitter etc you can do all of this inside this automation and the automation to import is this one right here all right super simple and easy to set up so thanks so much for watching if you want to get all of this stuff feel free to get it inside the ai profit boardroom link in the comments description it comes with tons of other ai agents and workflows you can see all this all these different courses that we've got right here each of them has different modules and all sorts of crazy stuff and then inside the community here we're super active we make sure we answer your questions, you get help whenever you need it. For example, Jake commented on this and we got back to him ASAP, everyone helping him out. And then also we do three weekly live coaching calls. So if you join today, you get three coaching calls per week. And if you can't make them, you can actually watch them back inside the Q&A call recording section over here. And additionally, inside here, what we actually do once per week is we create automations based on what you want to see, right? So if you want to see something, just let us know what you want to see and we'll create the automations for you. So for example, you can see here, we got 30, 36 people commented on this thread for automations they wanted and we just built them all out in a personalized video as you can see right here. So feel free to get that link in the comments description. Massive value right there if you want to save time, make more money and scale with AI. And additionally, if you want us to just automate all of this stuff for you, feel free to get a free AI strategy session, link in the comments description. Basically, you can jump on that call, book it in. And what we can do on that call is essentially look at your business, look at where you're spending all your time, audit it, and then explain exactly what you need to automate. And if you want us to do it for you, we can directly. So feel free to book that in, link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Tyler's asking, how do you continue the same video into a scene with continuity? I don't think you can actually, unless you're using Kling. If you use Kling, then you probably could. But typically you can't. But if you use something like Bigfoot, for example, Bigfoot is quite like it's a universal character, right? So it's going to use it's going to look very similar and speak very similar each time. But right now, I think the best way to do that is probably with HeyGen. If you've got a HeyGen avatar, then you can just use that over and over again and you get the continuity. But Veo 3, I don't think it's very good for continuity, to be honest, from what I've seen.